various industries continue to recover from the impact of COVID-19. The city of Cape Town has been able to re-establish itself as a destination of choice for various organizers. Sport is on the forefront of those attracting prestigious events. Ian says Justin Ford has the story. Cape Town has received accolades as a leading city destination in Africa and the list of local and global events coming to town is ever increasing. We could not have uh, had a better offering of events during this time. Uh, five major women's events alone. Um, T20 Sun Ladies Open, uh, the um, Ice Hockey uh, Championship uh, was extraordinary. Um, Many people don't even know we play ice hockey, uh, so I'm so proud of them. And culminating in the, 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 the grandest one of all, the um, Netball World Cup. But you're right, in order to be able to attract these events, we've had to get to a point of development where, um, where, where the license holders, the, uh, the people who own these events, have trust in us to deliver these events safely, seamlessly, professionally. Uh, and we want to build on that now and building on it is what happens in three weeks when we host Formula E, two billion rand of economic development in our city as a result. Rolling blackouts continue to be a concern for event organizers. Having backup power has become a necessity. The city often has to assist and exempt certain areas from power cuts, but this impacts other zones. For one area to get extra, others have to um, to go without and obviously during the daytime it's not that big a deal in terms of demand management but at night it is a bigger issue uh, and we have uh, we have just heard from all the organizers over the last few weeks that it is impossible to get your hands on a generator generating additional power is a massive massive headache for, the, for them so it does sabotage their reputation somewhat you have to wonder if a big, big events organized going we'd love to be there beautiful vistas well organized safe events ah, but the electricity that uh, that's not going to work so it's generating it's increasing um, their cost so this is something we need to get a handle on but Cape Town is trying hard we're working on that um, those IPPs are tenders have come through and uh, hopefully by this time next year the first of that mitigation should be there the ICC women's T20 World Cup the ocean race and the maiden Formula E race are the standout events for the month of February Justin Ford Cape Town